Okay, folks, I think we are live here. Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday, Wednesday afternoon. So today's video, I'm going to big shout out to uh, David. Okay, I don't know Dave's last name, but Dave sent me an email last night. Uh, he said he wants to take a look at zero versus any kind of flapper in a kind of a lighter roast. Is that still relevant? Okay, is that still worth it to getting? So, you know, you know what, let's talk about that this afternoon. I mean, that's, there's a tons and tons of uh, video on Niche Zero, by the way, okay? We are talking hundreds of uh, videos out there for Niche Zero. So, um, if you guys, you know, if you guys learn more about it, I have a, quite a few on my channel as well. And, you know, I mean, there's another tons of videos too, so make sure you go check it out, okay? If a niche is something you want to buy, all right? And then I'm going to compare that to my uh, P64 from Option O, okay? So I'm going to go side by side. So P64, I think that is the best uh, flat burr out there. Comes, uh, comes to grinder, I mean, personally, that is one of my favorite flat burr grinder. Uh, they are premium, very expensive, extremely well built, okay? A lot of companies... Uh, copy their look and feel of it, okay? I mean, if you look at some other grinders out there, I mean, most grinders are pretty much inspired by uh, Optional P64. They are fantastic, very quality. I love the workflow. They're great, okay? Comes to flat burr grinder, that is my top of my list. Comes to 64 millimeter flat burr, okay? There's 83, 98, but comes to 64, most versatile uh, flat burr, I mean, that is it. Okay, and then you have a lot of options for the burr options. Not only you can go with uh, Meisen burr from option O, you can put MP words in it, you can put cast, HU, high uniformity. They got a lot of burr options there. So it comes to grinder, flat burr, P64 is up there, all right? And it comes to conical burr, all right? I mean, niche uh, coming in at 63 millimeter conical. Okay, so we are talking about 60s. 64 for the flat for P, uh, P64, and it comes to conical 63 millimeters. So they're using the Mazer uh, burrs, Mazer Coney burrs. So that's 63 millimeter conical. Comes to burr size, you know, very similar. One is conical, one is flat. Okay, one is flat. So, you know what? I mean, that's something I know you guys want to know. You know, some of you, I know you guys already seen it before. Okay, so today I'm going to be using, this is a very light roast, okay, more like medium to light and very dynamic coffee, okay, uh, from Colombia, naturally processed, dragon fruit, uh, red fruit, and papaya, so very fruity. Uh, I made this coffee earlier this morning, dialing in with the P64. Fantastic shot, okay, fantastic. I'm going to be using my high yield basket from Posado as well. So it uh, should be fun. Okay, I cannot wait to uh, kind of like take you through workflow. Okay, again, niche workflow is great, right? Uh, comes to beer quality. I mean, there are, for the price, they did it right, okay? For the single dose, they did a pretty good job on it. Okay, comes to single dose. They are great looking. You know, there comes the black and white. Uh, let's see here, uh, P64 comes with the black and silver, I believe. Okay, personally, I like the, the black. I think it looks really sharp. Okay. And again, one is conical, one is flat. Uh, it's about 570 bucks. Okay, 570 for the niche. With the shipping, you're looking at about $600 shipped uh, from uh, England, I believe. Okay, so it's about $600. P64. Let's triple that. Okay, it's by uh, seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars, depend on the shipping. So it comes to the Meisenberg. Uh, Meisenberg is kind of like in between MP and high uniformity, give you that just enough balance and you know texture as well. So that's also a very nice burr set as well. Unfortunately, with the niche, you only have one option. Okay, uh, Mazer burrs. That's it. I know some other companies are working on it, last time I heard, but who knows, okay? So let's brew some coffee with it, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm gonna take you through the workflow, okay, one by one, 
All right. I think, you know what? See for yourself. Okay. Again, I mean, they're both fantastic grinder and looks great on any coffee bar out there. Okay. Any coffee bar out there. By the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, uh, welcome to live streaming. I know someone mentioned about the uh, t-shirt here. So this is a, uh, I think we only have about six order left. That's it. Our goal is about 50. And then once we got, once we reach 50, uh, we're going to print it. We're going to ship it out with, you know, your coffee as well. If you buy with the coffee and then you're going to get a 20% off if you buy a shirt, just to use the code. Uh, the link is down below. Okay. So we only have about a few shirts left. So uh, once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, man, I, mean, I don't say bring it back. I mean, you know, it, it's fun project. Okay. Fun project. But yeah, I don't see that happening. Uh, unless, you know, we come up with something really, really cool design. So, okay, uh, let's see here. Having said that, let's brew some coffee, okay? By the way, so how many people are actually thinking about getting niche? All right, the niche used to be very pricey. A couple years ago, you guys remember? Uh, niche was going for 1200 on eBay, okay? They cannot keep it on stock. For now, they dropped the price to like uh, 570 I think, for US dollars. And then with the shipping, you're looking around $600 range there. So ever since they uh, come, uh, came up with a niche duo, that's an 83 millimeter. So the flat bird, 83 millimeter flat bird. So let's, uh, you know what? Let me start with niche zero first, okay? Niche zero. Okay, I know we have a niche fanboy is on the live chat. Our friend Tora Keeper from Barrett, he loves niche, by the way. He is our niche fanboy. Okay, here we go. All right, so let's brew some coffee. Let's start with the niche. Uh, with the RDT, uh, I'm, again, I'm living in Arizona here, dry place. So RDT is must, okay? RDT is must. All right. By the way, uh, if you guys are looking for something organizing your uh, coffee bar, our friend ne uh, Barrett from Porter Kiefer, actually he made this. Okay, he made this, all this uh, organization. You can hang your Porter filter. That's why he, uh, his uh, name is Porter Kiefer. I mean, that is a fantastic, okay. Uh, paper holder as well. Make sure to check out uh, Barrett's uh, YouTube page. Okay, let's back to regular programming. All right. Okay, one downside of a niche zero, you cannot do a hot star. What's hot star? Hot star means you can actually start the motor first and then you put the coffee beans in it. Okay, you can put the coffee beans. That's a hot star. But unfortunately, with the niche, you can because they have a safety feature. Okay, then uh, then not, uh, not uh, kind of notch right there with the safety feature, so you cannot turn it on. Okay, now it starts. So I mean, I prefer hot start, but unfortunately, you cannot do it with the niche. You just have to put the beans first, lock it. It's not fast, okay, but it's fast enough, okay? Very simple, all right? After you're done, you know, I know some people like to pop it like that with a hand. I mean, I've been using this suction cup for years, okay? It looks a little funny, but this is the kind of the physical therapy tools. Just pump a few times, that's it. Okay. Again, the RDT, you want to do that for sure. Now let's take a look at P64 in the other hand. All right, and the P64, you have the RPM adjustment on the side there as well. Just, you know, whatever you desire. And uh, I just like to use it set on number seven as my RPM. I don't know the exact RPM, but all right, here we go. 
and I, I like to usually go hot star on P64. As you can see, extremely quiet. Okay, I hope you guys can hear it. Very, very quiet grinder. Just gonna do some little bit of RDT here. There we go. Just gonna put some coffee beans in. Pretty fast. Again, very nice workflow. That's it, very quiet. So one is conical, one is flat, okay? Uh, let's talk about the uh, puck prep. Okay, let's start with niche for puck prep here. Just to use your favorite coffee tools, okay? I'm using the Posada basket here. I mean, all these dosing cups are 58 millimeter compatible. Okay. Just gentle. And if you want to do a little bit of WDT, you can do that as well. Okay, just a little WDT. That's uh, just nice and easy. Just gentle tap. They're pretty uniform. And they give it a quick temp. Okay. I'm using the force temper here. Okay, looks pretty good. Okay, let's pull the shot. All right. Let's pull the shot here. Just gonna give a quick wash for the puck screen. Because you don't want to have a cold puck screen, okay? Just so gonna lock it in. All right, here we go, folks. Uh, let's do like one to one to two ratio, maybe one to two point five. Let's try this shit for like 40 gram. Let's go 45. 16 seconds. Okay, it's a little bit too fast. All right, 16 seconds and 46 gram. Okay. So right now, my grinder size here, I'm at number 10, as you can see there. Number 10 is my grind size. I can go about 10 notch lower. Okay, 10 notch lower. All right, so I can go even, even more finer. And I'm just gonna go about five or six, maybe six or seven. Okay, let's do that one more time here, folks. Yeah, because I want to give you guys a good comparison. Okay, but meantime, uh, let's uh, pull the shot with a P64. And the, I, know, uh, I know some people complain about the uh, Posada high ear baskets. It's not come out nicely. That is true. So just gently tap it, okay? Gently tap it, eventually come out, as you can see from there. All right. So we're going to do the same thing one more time. So this time we're going to go with the P64. Again, both port of uh, dosing cup, 58 millimeter compatible. Just give it a quick WDT. I'm using the 18 gram dose. Yeah, again, looks pretty good. The both grinder does a fantastic job. Okay. okay, here we go. Shot number two, but this is, again, option O, P64. Okay, 
let's lock that one in. Right, here is a P64. I'm at 13 seconds there, 14, 20, 20 about 30, uh, let's go for 40. 25 seconds and 40 gram. Okay, shot looks pretty good. All right, one, to, how about one to two ratio? So let's go for the niche this time. I'm just gonna, again. I'm using the high ear basket from Posada. There we go. Just go nice and gentle. Okay. Don't force it. Because they are. Uh, that's the one bad thing about a high ear basket. Sometimes it gets stuck. Okay. So make sure you gotta be careful. Okay. We're gonna go shot. So second shot for niche. Okay, here we go. Okay. We're gonna go another 18 gram. By the way, who's in, uh, who's in the market for new grinder? Let me know in the comment section. I'm going to the 18 gram again. Right, this time it just go without RDT. Okay, let's see. Let's do that this time. No RDT this time. Okay, here we go, it's done. This is shot number two from Niche. The first shot was uh, under extracted, so let's go with the second shot here. Just gonna give it a good WDT here. Okay. As you can see, the workflows are flawless. Okay, I love the workflow of Niche. Okay, they are really user friendly. I mean, sort of P64, but I mean, if you're looking for workflow compared to price, I mean, Niche is up there. All right here. Let's go for the shot number two. Okay, folks, let's try. Man, I'm choking it right now. I went maybe too fine there. Still coming out very nicely. Let's see, let's see what kind of results we're gonna get. I'm okay with it a little over extracted. About 34 seconds, up just under, just over 39 gram, about five seconds off. Let's give it a try. Yeah. Let's give it a try there. Because I'd rather be over extracted than under. Yeah. 
Okay. So let's start with uh, P64. Okay, P64 has been cooling, cooling for a little while. All right. So let's start with the P64. Cheers, guys. Man, it smells really good. Great. Very fruity, tropical, you know, robust. Yeah, kind of like kicking your face as well. That's good. Okay, I have to say. They are fantastic. Nice flat burr. So this is the conical burr, uh, niche is zero. Okay. And then I felt like it's about four seconds over extracted, but we'll see. Here we go. Cheers. It's not that bad either. I mean, here's the thing about the the flat and the conical, okay? They're different. It's not the same. It's different. All right. I know a lot of people looking for which grinder is better. Uh, the only way to find out is go find somebody who has a niche. Okay. Your friends or family has a niche. Okay. And then, and go to coffee. I mean, most coffee shops, they have a flat burr grinder. Okay. Try that. All right. Try that, uh, you know, flat burr grinder from you know, uh, your local coffee shop. Because not everybody, uh, unless if you're using the Maserconi uh, coffee shop, using the Maserconi burr, uh, Coney grinder. So that's pretty much the exact same burrs anyway. So uh, you can find, you know, you can compare. Okay, you can compare it. But sometimes, I mean, most of us drink coffee casually. Okay. Uh, sometimes we, we are looking for something more. Than, okay. Obviously, you need to have a good tasting cup of coffee. They're both fantastic. Okay, I have to give you that. Okay, so this is again, let's go back to the P64 here. Nice. All right, nicely balanced. Uh, beautiful separation as well. And then uh, with the niche, zero. Has a lot, lots great texture. Great, uh, kind of like a lot of, a lot of fruit, okay? Just coming at you, all right, coming at you. Papaya, the tropical fruits, is, uh, you know, very bright. And it has very uh, nice mouth feels to it. So, I mean, they're both, you know, it's all depending on what you are looking for, okay? I mean, the Niche Zero, uh, 63 millimeters still, uh, comes to conical burr, I mean, still, still up there. Uh, uh, right on my list. Okay, I'm gonna shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker there. Yeah, you are my number one fan for sure. Okay, Mr. Rainbow has been. Yep, biggest supporter. All right, shout out to Mr. Rainbow. Okay, uh, let's see here. So, so here's the bottom line. Okay, you're not gonna be disappointed. Uh, you're not gonna be disappointed with P64 or uh, Nisi Zero. If you're looking for grinder, okay? If you're looking for a single dose grinder, you're gonna be pretty happy with it. And if I'm gonna pick one, I mean, there are two, two different price point, guys, okay? One of them is uh, pushing almost two grand, okay? Uh, Niche Zero just dropped the price. So you're looking at 575 plus shipping. So, I mean, there are two different grinder. And the, but it comes to workflow, they're both Really fantastic. Uh, 63, okay, 64. Okay, so what, what is a niche direct competitor? I mean, if you ask, right? So what's that price range? Okay. How about uh, DF? Okay, DF64V. Okay, DF64V is about 500 bucks there. Okay, uh, very close to niche. Okay, it's about, about the same price range now, slightly less. So at that price point, you need to ask yourself, do I want the conical? Do I want, do I want the uh, flat burr? Okay. Some of you saw my uh, video on DF64B. Okay, a lot of static issues, especially if you're living in dry place. Okay, if you're living in dry place. All right. So, I mean, I mean so, so that is the fact. Okay, that is the fact. Oh, hold on. Chico said, so you need to send Mr. Rainbow a free t-shirts. 
you know, I, I, I'm planning on sending more than a T-shirt for Mr. Rainbow. Okay, we got the uh, holidays coming. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I have a big plan for Mr. Rainbow. I have a nice care package for him. So yeah, don't you worry. Yes, don't you worry about that, Chica. I mean, thank you for thinking of him. Okay, that's great. Uh, Kumar asks, is P64 louder than MC5? Oh, man, Kumar has a great question. You know what? Let's find out, okay? Let's see it, all right? I mean, usually, uh, flapper is a little louder, okay? A little louder anyway. So here is the uh, P64, and uh, Kumar asks, you guys hear that? Pretty quiet, right? Pretty quiet here. So here's my MC5 in that corner right there. Okay. So here's MC5. Hold on. I'm going to change the outlet here. Okay. So here's MC5. Can you guys hear it? I mean, even quieter. Okay, so this is MC5. Here's a, uh, obviously P64, I unplugged it, but yeah. I mean, again, uh, definitely qui uh, MC5 is quieter. I mean, you think P64 is expensive. Uh, okay, let's double the price. That is MC5, so yeah. So it's all relative, folks, okay? It's all relative. I mean, if you only have a one grinder, goodness, you're not gonna see the difference unless you're gonna go side by side. All right. I mean, this cup right here, I mean, this cup by itself is great. Okay, so this is a P64 I just brewed a few minutes ago. Okay, bright, very fruity, fantastic. Uh, niche grinder. Same thing. They're also uh, pretty good as well. So, but comes to filter coffee. All right, comes to filter. Uh, niche is a little lack, okay, L little lack of it, all right. Uh, I feel like comes to filter coffee, I feel like uh, P64 give you that little bit more cleaner, okay, for sure. Uh, with a niche grinder, again, the when they design niche, they weren't thinking about filter coffee, okay. They're more like, you know, espresso focused, all right. So, you know, I don't blame them either, yeah. Hold on, DK, uh, would you say, okay, so you appreciate your expensive grinder more having, okay, uh, having tasty, cheaper grinds? Would you say you appreciate expensive grinder more having? I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, if you have the money to burn, okay, I mean, go get the best grinder, you know, money can buy, all right? But, I mean, if, you, if money is the issue for you, cheaper grinds, Cheaper grinder. I mean, it doesn't matter which grinder you have. You are going to make great cup of coffee. All right. Uh, based on your, you know, based on your brewers, what kind of brewers you are going to use, what kind of water. Okay. And then you can play with the grind size as well. Different pouring method. I mean, you can. I mean, you cannot buy bad grinders nowadays. I mean, grinder has been improved so much. Even fellow Opus, the tw uh, actually it's not two hundred. It's 165 now on Amazon, okay, the fellow grinder, fellow Opus grinder, entry level. They make still a great cup of coffee. So yeah, I mean, if I were you, okay, not what, what about the what's best out there, just, just find out, you know, I mean, what, what kind of coffee you like first, all right? Just find out what kind of coffee you like first, okay? So once you figure out what you like, after that it's pretty easy, okay? And then you can actually play with it. Do I want to go with the conical burr? So do I want to go with the flat burr? So again, uh, niche versus P64. Uh, it's not one is better. They're completely different grinder. It's different. So I guess you know different is good. Okay, different is good. All right. Uh, make sure you get a good coffee. Guess what? I mean, if you buy like a uh, store-bought coffee. Doesn't matter what kind of grinder you use, pretty much the same. Okay. If your budget is, 
if you only can afford store-bought coffee, right, which means what, uh, $10 per pound perhaps, $7 per pound at, at your local grocery store, and you definitely, you don't need fancy grinder for that, all right? You don't need fancy grinder. Joe, okay, Joe mentioned about the DF64. I mean, DF64, so niche came out first, but single dose, and the DF64, I mean, they come out really, really strong. I mean, you know, ask Joe, okay? Joe is uh, in live chat right now. Man, goodness. I mean, before that, who's out there? You got the Mazer out there before. You got the Bratza, we got the Eureka, all the dosing hoppers, okay? And then we got the niche coming up with the uh, single dose options, and they're followed by DF. So now with the DF, not only we have DF64, DF come a salute of different models as well. Now, lettuce is DF64V, okay? There are compact, small, valuable RPM control, cheaper than niche grinder, 64 millimeter. You have a lot of options as well. You know, I mean, I mean that's, that's great, okay? So now you guys have a lot of options, okay? And uh, Joe mentioned about uh, I should have the Gen 2 DF64 soon. The Gen 2, again, Gen 1, now it's Gen 2. Guess what? Now we're gonna have Gen 3 by next year, who knows? Okay, that's just the grinders, guys. Grinder market, okay? I'm hoping, I'm hoping Joe's gonna come up with, work with somebody up there, okay? Come up with large conical, okay? I'm talking about 83 and up, more like 83 millimeter conical, single dose grinder. That's not, I mean, that's kind of like on tap market right now, okay? That's on tap market. Uh, yeah, it'd be very interesting. Somebody going to come up with a large conical. I mean, we have a large conical here. I have a MC5, the 71 millimeter, okay? Conical, 71. But man, that is pricey. They're so expensive, okay? That's over three grand for the single grinder. I mean, goodness. Who has that kind of money, okay? Who has that kind of money? So I'm hoping somebody come up with a, a large conical there. Uh, it'd be a lot of fun. It'd be, it'd be a lot of fun. Yep. Joe said, yeah, Joe's correct. It needs to be low, low cost, but it needs to be good. Somebody come up with a good burst. I mean, this specialty coffee, I mean, you guys are, you know, you guys are getting more refined now. I mean, you guys are looking for that, you know, better cup of coffee in the morning, okay? Lighter roast. You know, you guys want to taste a, a separation of a flavor, the tasting notes. You know, you guys are getting really fancy out there, okay? Really, really fancy, so, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I don't blame, you know, this company is com uh, coming up with uh, these grinders, but extremely saturated, competitive, all right? Uh, the other day, I was watching one of uh, Lance's video. Actually, what, this morning, I think? Uh, he's showcasing this uh, grinder from AliExpress. It's called Barsetto, okay? Barsetto. It's about 1000 bucks on AliExpress right now. I mean, that is a pricey grinder, okay? That's a single, uh, uh, that's single dose, flat burr. So, again, I mean, it's going to do well. I don't know. Because, I mean, it needs to be good, okay? It needs to be good, period, all right? The, in the end of the day, the cup quality needs to be there. It doesn't have to be spectacular, but it needs, it needs to be good, all right? It needs to be good. Okay, let's see here. Uh, what else? We've been talking for, again, if you're first time joining us, welcome to live streaming, okay? Uh, so that's what we do every day. We just kick back, hang out, make some coffee, and we do a lot of comparison, okay? I mean, I like compare things since I have the, all the gears. So, you know, trying to figure out what's the best way to brew. Yeah. Lately, I've been really into espresso now. So, you know, play with the different baskets as well. Uh, I've been playing with uh, the Posado baskets. Okay, Posado baskets, so. Okay, let's see here. I'm gonna shout out to Young Ma. Young Ma's been out for a while. I'm gonna shout out to Young Ma. It's been, a, it's been a minute, buddy. 
Okay, I must say, would it be love with DF64 uh, Gen 2? I'm sure. You know, it'd be interesting. Okay, so, again, man, it is interesting time to be in coffee hobbyist. Okay, I have to say. You, have, you guys have a lot of options. Now you guys can actually buy 58 millimeter hand grinder, folks. 58 millimeter hand grinder. Who needs 58 millimeter hand grinder? Obviously it's out there, okay? It makes great cup of coffee. This is 575, all right? No, I'm sorry, 475. Is it 475? Yeah, not 575, 475. Pushing 500 for the hand grinder. All right, but makes great coffee. So not only you guys have so much options now, so what are you gonna do, right? If you have like, let's say $600 to spend, where are you gonna start, okay? So, I mean, do not be impulse buyer, all right? Do not be impulse, because I want you to do your homework. There's a lot of resources out there, okay? They have a tons and tons of resources, so yeah, judge, just make sure to take your time to invest that hard on money, okay? It is a lot of money. Okay, hold on. Is there anything for large quantity? Many are asking, is there anything for large quantity? What do you mean large quantity in like, I'm not sure what uh, manual is saying. Okay. Jesse asked, what is the largest conical home, right, home grinder right now? I believe that's the... Uh, 83 millimeter muzzle, okay, so uh, that is a Weber key grinder, has an 83. I think that's the largest. I think that's the most popular one out there, yeah. I, I, think, the, I think that's the largest, 83 mil. I think that's the large, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the largest. Okay, it's only one uh, bird, right, that's from muzzle, that's it. Yeah, it's just, that, that's the muzzle bird. Uh, it does a really good job. But I'm hoping somebody come up with, uh, you know, really unique design. Okay. So, but who knows? Uh, we have a Commandante. Let's not forget the Commandante C60, the 60 millimeter hand grinder from Commandante as well. Yep. 60, uh, 60 millimeter uh, hand grinder. Commandante, conical. Okay. Uh, you, you have to pay money on that one. Uh, I think, uh, think last time I checked, starting, starting price, it's not launched yet. Uh, they think that they're, it's going to be pushing $600. Okay, $600, the starting point. So I imagine 700 bucks for the hand grinder could be $800. Yeah, seven. I say around 650 or seven for that grinder. So now we are talking about these grinders, right? I mean, $500 is not, it's not so bad after, that, uh, after all, isn't it? Before you're spending $500 is a lot of money. But once you lay out what's out there, what's capable of, $500 is nothing. But still a lot of money, by the way. Okay. So, if I were you, all right, if I were you, you know, unless you're a hardcore coffee hobbyist, uh, stop looking at video like this, all right, because it might tempt you. You know, there's a lot of great gadgets, yeah. Stop watching, you know, YouTube on gadget reviews. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. All right, hold on a second here. We have a, uh, hold on, manual say, oh, any good option making uh, multiple, uh, yes. Uh, I said, uh, I said Eureka makes great ones, the Eureka, all right. And who makes the, uh, is a is a Adam 75, right? Adam, Adam 75 or 60. Yeah, I think it's Eureka. They makes great, uh, kind of like the hopper grinder. Okay, let's not forget Mazer either. Mazer grinder with the hopper. But they retain a lot of, has a lot of retention. So, I mean, just make sure you're going to serve a lot of people. Okay, multiple times. All right. Efren. Can you dial in a coffee for us? I find how to find the sweetness cup. It, uh, it's all depend on the cup, uh, dip, uh, depend on the coffee, okay? The dialing in is just nothing but just changing your grind size, all right? It comes to espresso. Filter coffee might be different, 
But espresso grind size is very important. The length of time as well. Man, just uh, you gotta you gotta spend time. There's no one magic process for it. I mean, willing to spend about you know two three shots, get the shot just where you like. So it's not that in, in reality it's not it's not that practical. Let's face it, guys. You get up in the morning. You're already late to work, right? You have only a few minutes to make coffee. I guarantee you, it doesn't matter how bad that coffee is, you're going to drink it and go to work. Okay, you're not going to, you know what, I think I should put a second shot. You're not going to do it. But hopefully you're going to have a mental note, I'm going to change my grind size tomorrow morning. Okay, the finding that the perfect shots, you know, one sitting, unless, you know, if you're spent, you know, willing to spend, you know, 30, 40, 30 or 40 minutes every single day, willing to waste a lot of coffee, I mean, now we can talk about it. Now we can talk about the, get the perfect cup of coffee. All right? Like this coffee right here. Like I said, dragon fruit, red fruit, and papaya. Okay? It's pretty sweet. Okay? If you dial it in just right, it's going to be awesome. Okay? But who does that? All right? I mean, I do it because I have time and space and grinder for it. But, you know, I don't mind wasting a lot of coffee. But you... But for you guys, it might be a different story, right? Yeah, you, it might be a different story there. Okay, uh, penguin, hungry penguin say, yeah, let, yeah let, uh, let's uh, put up today how to dial in light roast, okay? Make sure to check out the Lance video if you guys are really curious about how he dialed in, okay, how Lance does. We got the Jay is also joining us as well. Okay, hold on a second here. And uh, uh, Jesse say, uh, less waste shot for the level machine. That's good. Okay, hold on. Uh, I'm say uh, looking forward to seeing dealer for GP6. I may want you get a direct, uh, buy direct from Easy Presser. So just buy direct. Yeah. So you don't have to go through the, unless you cannot buy one in Europe. If you're unfortunate. Okay, folks, I think we are done for this afternoon session here. Again, it's a lot of fun, and the niche is still relevant, guys. Okay, niche is still good. Okay, can go can go wrong with it. Uh, here we go. We got EU tax regulation. Got it. Yeah, I'm telling you, the Europe man, you guys pay a lot of taxes. Okay. Uh, with the U.S. right now, uh, if you go to Easy Presso, the taxes are included. I think the shipping is as well. I think it comes with the free shipping. The cost you 200 bucks. That's it. Yeah. Anyway, a big shout out to Mr. Rainbow for the super sticker. And I'm going to see you guys next time.